I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, I'd like to go back to our data engineering playlist, and I'd like to talk about inline queries, which are a very, very handy way of selecting a subset of data before you actually do your select query so that things can run faster or more efficiently uh, or just in general make things easier. So without further ado, let's get to our inline queries in SQL. Looking to hire more resources for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Okay, so I'm using SQL Server Management Studio here, uh, but this is definitely not limited to SQL Server. Um, these inline query can be used in Oracle and most other database uh, systems. Uh, so give it a try if you're using something else like, uh, you know, uh, MySQL or, or Oracle or something like that, and you'll see that uh, the technique is basically the same. And now this differs from uh, you know, SQL in your code, like if you're doing C Sharp or Python or something where you put a SQL statement in, you know, in a string. Um, some people call that an inline query, and this is not that. This is an SQL inline query, which is different, uh, and we're going to get started here. So I'm using these uh, tables that I have for demonstration, and I'm going to select basically from our product table I believe this is the, the AdventureWorks database, uh, which is free from Microsoft, um, and you can use it to play around uh, as an example database. And I've grabbed the uh, salesLT.product, and you can see I grabbed all of the red, all of the red bikes and things that are in there. If they have a color red, then if it's a helmet, it's a red helmet. If it's a bike, it's a red bike, and so. That's a very simple query that we can use. You can see there's these other fields here. Uh, we selected everything by going select star, but maybe uh, if you can imagine that this was a really big query on a huge table, um, then this would actually cut down the amount of processing if you grabbed a subset first. And so uh, in some cases, and so to do an inline query in this case, what we can do is we can say, uh, we can put our original query in brackets and then we can uh, say select from and then the brackets and we can give that an alias. I give it the alias red on the end there. And then we can select the, the fields that we want from that table um, in, order to, uh, in order to get a, basically a, a selection from the selection that we made. And that's the essence of an inline query is that we're going to select from and we're going to filter the list first to something really like uh, that's going to limit the list. Maybe uh, maybe there's less uh, there's less records uh, in the red and it'll actually be faster. In some cases you'll note this depending on your environment. Um, environments can be very different and you can run into situations where um, selecting a particular subset will make it faster. In this case we did select star which is not optimal. I'm going to show you a faster way of doing it here. And, uh, but for now, what we'll do is we'll go uh, select from our uh, red or our inline query. And then we can put a, a criteria, a where clause on there and saying, you know, list price is greater than 500. And that works great. You can see um, we got the result that we wanted there. But what if we wanted to, you know, put some other tables in here? Well, you can you can mix your inline queries uh, or inline views in some cases, as they're called. Um, you can mix them in and with your other tables, and you can join those in, um, kind of like using a CTE. If you remember the video I did on CTE, which I'll put the the link at the top here, and you you might remember where we said, you know with select, you know, blah, 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 and then end bracket, and then select from that. Um, that's a CTE common table expression. And an inline query is, is a way of, uh, of doing it a bit differently. And in fact, on many platforms, uh, CTE are not supported. And you, in those cases, if you run into a 
case where you cannot use your CTE, then you can probably still use an inline query because inline queries are, are I would say they're um, supported on more platforms than, than CTEs. And they are generally, from what I understand, a bit more efficient. Um, CTEs uh, suffer from uh, being not that efficient in a lot of cases, and so uh, inline queries are superior in that way. So I cleaned up this a little bit, and now you can see we've joined our sales LT product category along with our, um, you know, along with our uh, inline query, and we've uh, given it the alias cat, and you can see the category name down along the left-hand side, and that's exactly what we wanted to see. Now if we wanted to grab another table and do another um, inline query, we can certainly do that uh, in the same sort of big query and we can do that. I'll throw in some orders here uh, to demonstrate. Now this is another way that uh, you can make things more efficient because if you do a select just on a few columns, if you can imagine uh, that this table maybe had like a hundred columns in it full of blobs and like all kinds of different um, things and um, It makes it more efficient if you choose only the fields that you need so in the first One where we did the color red we selected star which is actually not, not a great way to approach it uh, the better way is to do exactly what you want to see uh, only the fields that you need and that will actually make the whole thing uh, a, a bit more efficient and so you can say select product ID sales order ID order quantity and say unit price discount here uh, from sales order detail and uh, we'll give that uh, we'll structure that a little bit more nicely here and then we'll add an alias on the end we'll call it DET and uh, and then we need to do the uh, the join. So we'll do the uh, basically uh, on um, det dot product ID is equal to the uh, the red dot product ID, which is the uh, products that are all red. And so now we have uh, another inline query right here and it's been joined based on the product ID and it's only got the fields that we need. And this one here has uh, reduced the number of selections because we're only looking at, uh, we're only joining in the ones that are uh, based on the color red. And so we can put our fields in from the DET query. We can say DET.salesorderID, DET.orderquantity and, and unit price discount. And that's kind of what we want to see there. And make a note that this is sort of an alternate way of doing things like the CTE which you saw in previous episodes uh, make sure that you pay attention that you can use this as an alternative to CTE I'll hit F5 here and you can see there we go we've got the orders that came up with the red uh, 62 frame there were two one with two and one with one um, and it had no discount um, and then you can see the other uh, rows there and so there's our first inline query here's our second inline query and uh, those are very very handy in making our uh, overall query by using those inline queries need help or coaching on your project make sure to check out my patreon the link is in the description